Hello, and welcome to the Brutal Iron Gym Podcast, where our goal is to cut through the BS and deliver the brutal truth about topics related to health and happiness. Today's podcast number 2175. The topic is mindset, and the title is How to Keep Going When You Want to Quit. I started my fitness journey when I was 15 years old. I'm 40 now, so it's been 25 years so far. Along the 25 years, I've had several moments when I faced the option of quitting. Whether it was a diet that plateaued and I wasn't sure what to do next. Whether it was an injury and I wondered if I'd ever recover back to normal, let alone be able to make improvements. Or it was a goal that I couldn't reach and wondered if continuing to try was worth the effort and stress. Likely, all of us have tried something. It didn't go as expected, and we were faced with the option to quit. We know quitting won't help us reach our goal, but it may seem like the best option to at least lessen the pain that we're feeling in the current moment. Do we take that option and give up hope of ever achieving what we truly want? Or is there another option? Is there a way to keep going when all you really want to do is quit? Before we discuss that, I do want to raise your awareness that we have a discount deal with the supplement company NutriCost. I've been using NutriCost supplements for over 10 years. Meredith uses them as well. We reached out and partnered with them recently to get an affiliate link, which is a special link for the website that's connected to our company. And when people purchase products through that link, we get a 10% commission. And along with that link, we got a 10% discount code that you can use for 10% discount on their supplements. You can go to our website, www.brutalirongym.com, go to the supplements page. On there, you will see the affiliate link that you can click on that will take you to a version of their website that's connected to ours. It looks like the same thing, all the prices are the same, but it lets them know that anything bought through that link would be connected to a commission to us. And then along with using that link, you can use the discount code BRUTALIRON10, and that will give you a 10% discount on your product. So you get a 10% discount, Brutal Iron Gym gets a 10% commission, it's a great way for you to get something. You can get great supplements at a reduced cost, and then also be able to give back to the gym if you'd like to, in order for us to continue to grow the podcast and our social media education quality. Meredith and I would really like to be able to put out better stuff, get maybe better cameras, just do some odds and ends to improve how we can reach out and help people. And any money we can earn through the affiliate link will help us do exactly that. So again, you can find that link on our website, Gym. Go to the supplements page. We also have the link available on our Instagram page as well. You can use the link in the bio. Now, when faced with the choice of quitting, for myself and what I teach to my clients is... To remember two things. Number one, quitting doesn't stop the pain. It only changes the pain. And number two, what would I quit to? So number one, quitting doesn't stop the pain. It only changes the pain. When we make the decision to quit, it's often to lessen the pain that we're feeling in that moment. Whether that's emotional, mental pain, or actual physical pain. But quitting doesn't stop the pain. Instead, it just changes it. It changes it to regret, depression, and feeling defeated. If we have the goal to lose body fat, for example, and finally get lean, but along the way we run into challenge after challenge, we hit multiple plateaus, we just can't seem to ever turn the corner to real, tangible results. We grow frustrated, overwhelmed, confused as to what to do next, We wrestle with these emotions, they become overwhelming, so we quit. We lessen the frustration, we lessen the sense of feeling overwhelmed, we lessen the confusion of what to do next, because we're not going to do anything next, right? We get a release from those pains. But pain doesn't go away, it just changes. We then feel like a quitter, someone who never falls through with anything. We tend to have a stronger degree of hatred for our body and for ourselves, than we did before we ever started the diet. We don't get rid of pain when we quit, the pain just changes. 
So quitting will not get rid of pain. But here's the rub. The decision to keep going doesn't get rid of pain either. <laughs> if we decide to keep going, we will also still have pain. The pain of learning as much as we can so we know what to actually do next. Then the pain of having to make changes and actually implement the next plan. The hard thing is, in life, when you want something to change, there will always be pain. The pain of creating the change or the pain of wishing for the change. At least if we decide to keep going, we can mix with the pain a sense of hope. And that hope is at least to some degree an offset for the pain. When you want to quit to avoid pain, remind yourself that pain doesn't go away. It just changes. So instead, stay in the pain, but pair with the pain a sense of hope. A belief that if you keep trying, there is still a chance for a positive outcome. The other thing I remind myself of is, what would I quit to? If I'm not doing this, what would I do? If the answer is go back to what I was doing before, that's a pretty crappy answer. <laughs> that answer will not make you happy. That answer led to where you were, which was a place that drove you to try to make the change in the first place. If you do what you did, you'll get what you got. And you didn't like that. So if I quit this, I can't go back to that. What do I quit to? On Instagram yesterday, I made a story post. It was a picture from in our home gym, and it said the following. Life lessons I learned in the gym. If you want more, earn it. Talk to experts, read books, listen to podcasts, experiment with new approaches, explore personal development. If you never give up, you still may never achieve what you wanted. But never giving up is the only way to find out how far you can really go. So that is a lesson that I have truly learned in the gym. When I wanted more, it was up to me to go get it. And I've applied it everywhere else in my life as well. If I want to change, I have to earn that change. How do I do that? Is to do everything I know to do and then learn as much as I possibly can about the process to know what I don't know. I want to work smarter as I work harder. What's interesting is, uh, and I've, I've thought of this many times, but it came to mind as I was thinking about today's podcast, is I have goals I set when I was in my teens that I still have yet to reach. But along the way, I've achieved some pretty amazing things that were never on my radar, that I maybe never would have thought possible. And if it weren't for the continued pursuit of the unfulfilled goals, I wouldn't have achieved many of the goals that I actually have achieved. One example is this podcast. This podcast has reached all 50 states in the United States, over 100 countries. I honestly didn't even know that there were 100 countries. <laughs> so thank you, United States uh, Geography Education. <laughs> So it's reached over 100 countries. I have clients in seven countries right now. I have clients in over 10 time zones. I have the clock function in my phone that I use pretty much every day to figure out, okay, for this person, are they awake yet? Like, is this their morning? Is this their evening? It's really freaking cool. Like, it is, it's honestly just really cool to be able to work with people all over the U.S., all over the world, and to actually be worried about time zones. That's just a fun thing I never would have thought that I would be doing. So this podcast has been a really cool experience for me. Hopefully, it's been a very helpful knowledge resource for you. So hopefully there's, you know, mutual benefit. <laughs> but this podcast may have never happened if I quit when things got hard, when dreams fell flat, when I seemed to never be able to find a way to make progress towards certain goals. When I was 16, I wanted to become an IFBB pro, like a, a bodybuilding pro. I didn't know it involved all the uh, 
quote-unquote extra supplementation and all that craziness. But it was a goal I had, and I have yet to achieve it. <laughs> so it, it's probably never going to look the way that I thought it would look. Um, you know, but is there a way to get like a natural pro card? Is there a way to get, uh, you know, progress and success in some degree towards that goal? Yes. When I started powerlifting, I wanted to get a 2,000 pound total. What's sad is I started with under a 1,000 pound total. <laughs> but I'm delusional and stubborn and I was like, I can still do it. I can find a way. <laughs> the bummer was I never did. I never did achieve a 2,000 pound total. But I did achieve a total that's within the top 4% of all competitive powerlifters. So it wasn't a 2,000 pound total, but it's still in the top 4%, which is pretty badass. And I have many other personal, financial, and business goals that I have yet to reach. But in the pursuit of all those goals, by not quitting, by continuing to learn, by continuing to put in effort, I've become a better person, and I have achieved some pretty amazing things. If you are contemplating the decision of quitting, remember these two things. Number one, quitting doesn't stop the pain, it only changes the pain. And number two, what would I quit to? Remember those two things and then make the decision to not quit. But instead, explore. What other options are there? What else can I do? If I'm not going to do this, can I at least do something that continues the sense of hope, that continues the belief that progress is possible? How do I do that is by continuing to learn, continuing to experiment, and staying open-minded. Keep going. So how can you keep going when you want to quit? Remember that quitting doesn't stop the pain, it only changes the pain. And remember that if you're going to quit, you're going to have to quit to something. What is the next thing you will do? If it's going back to what you did before, you're going to get exactly what you got before. Remember those two things. And instead... Explore what might be next for you. Learn as much as you possibly can. Talk to experts. Just stay open-minded and continue, 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 continue the effort. Along the way, you're going to achieve some pretty cool stuff. Stuff that maybe was never on your radar. And you're going to build a lot of amazing personal skills. So keep going. There's more to life than what you weigh and how much you lift and what you look like. Don't lose sight of the other benefits by being too narrow focused. Okay. If I can help in any way, I'd love to. Reach out. My email is brutalironjim at gmail.com. Let me know what you're struggling with and I'll make a podcast for you. That's the whole point of doing this thing. That's why it's free. That's why at the end of every single podcast for 2,175 of these things, I've asked you to email me. <laughs> There's no charge. I will make you a podcast for free. Let me know what you're struggling with, and I'll make you a podcast, try to give you some help along the way. Okay. If you like the podcast, please share the podcast. The more people we share it with, the more people we can help. If you like the podcast, you can support the podcast by buying your products through that affiliate link that you can find on our website in the company NutriCost. Or you can actually make a donation to the podcast, which you can do on the website as well. So people do that, and it's greatly appreciated as well. And then if you like the information we share in the podcast, I do share new and unique and different information every single day on Instagram and YouTube under the name Brutal Iron Gym. As always, I hope this was helpful, and thank you for listening.